Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Comfy UI Remove Background project. Now, this is not a new project, but there was an update. We have a Remove Background 2.0. So I'm making this video because earlier today, I was talking to my colleague about how to remove backgrounds inside of Comfy UI. And when I mentioned that there's actually a Remove Background 2.0, they were actually surprised they were like what so that's why i'm making this video hopefully it's going to be useful to some of you now as usual in the description of this video there will be a link to the github repository where you can go through and you can look at the different descriptions the features that they mentioned and we also have an installation process here i'm going to show you how to do it from inside of the comfy y manager I think it's going to be easier for most people. All right, so you start your Comfy UI and go into the Comfy UI manager. Then click on custom nodes here. At the top in the search bar, search for RMBG and then install this one here that says Comfy UI RMBG and make sure that the author is 1038 lab. Click on install. Once it's completed, it will tell you that a restart is required. So you can click here to restart your Comfy UI. Click on OK. And then it will tell you here that it's reconnecting. You can go into the Comfy UI log here and make sure that once it's restarted, we have Comfy UI RMBG and there's no import fail on the left side here. All right, so once it's restarted, we don't really need this default workflow, so I'm going to clear the workflow. Now, right click, go into add node, and make sure you have that RMBG background node present here. As long as the custom node was installed correctly, it should be here. You can double click, and you can search for RMBG like this, and then you can select the top one. The bottom one will be for RMBG. That's going to be for the 1.0 version. Okay, so we have the RMBG 2.0 here. And since this is just a simple background removal custom nodes, we just need an input image, which is this one from a load image. It goes through this background removal node. And then you can have a preview node or you can have a save node as well. I'm going to go with a save node. Now for the test images, I'm going to go to pexels.com. And this is a simple one. I'm going to use this one first. So I'm expecting to have the character or the subject like this person cut out from the background. So let's click on the Q prompt. This is the first time. And let me check the terminal here. And you can see that it's actually downloading the models.save tenses automatically. Okay, so here it says that the models were downloaded successfully. And the total time, at least for me, including the downloading is 42. So I'm not going to count this as the first generation since this one includes the downloading of the models. Okay, so here we go. We got the person cut out and uh, it's quite nice. Let's right click open in a new window and you can see that we got pretty much everything in here. So this one was relatively simple. Next, I'm going to do these two. So let me do this one first. It's less than a second here that as you can see in the prompt here. So it's quite fast compared to the previous one. And again, it got pretty much everything removed and you can see the comparison here. Even the inside here got removed as you can see here. So that's quite nice. Now I'm going to do one more for realistic and I'm going to do this one in here. I'm going to expect the person to be the main focus, the subject. So let's do one more. And you can see now we have just that person. And I think it's it's done quite well here. So let's increase the difficulty a little bit. Now this is anime, so it's not realistic. And the background is pretty much just this part here and a little bit here. So let's see how it does. And uh, you can see now it's having difficulty identifying what is the subject and what is the, the background. And it left pretty much all of this here, including these in the background here. Now, just so fun, let, let, let me just try the example image here. And it actually got this one correct. It removed the background and kept only the subject. 
Maybe you can argue that the clouds here, but it's quite difficult to, to identify whether these are clouds or part of the character. So I'm going to give this one a pass. Let's try this one. I'm not sure if this is cartoon or it's actually like uh, toys and then a realistic photography. Let's just click on Qprop and it did really well. I was expecting this one to do well because the background is already blurred. So in your images, if the subject and the background have quite a good contrast, then it will be able to, to remove the background completely. Now I'm going to try this one. I can see how people would be using this. Like they draw on pen and paper, take a picture or scan it, and then they try to remove the background, that, uh, that paper from it. So this can act as a test here. And actually I'm surprised it actually got everything correctly. We got only the sketch and the background is gone. Let me try a second one. This one has a white background and I think it got it correct. We'll obviously have to put it on a different background. So as you can see here, in order to, to really say whether it's, uh, it's good or bad or if they are a little bit missing. But at first glance, it got it correctly. Now I'm going to do one more here. It's the same image, but this one, it has the the binding, the paper binding here. Well, it, it got just the subject, it removed everything else. So that's a big plus there. Now I'm going to do one last and this one has text in it. So we can expect somebody to actually write something on paper. And uh, well, it got the shape, the mountain or hills there, but not the text. So let me try one more here just to see if that one was just a bad image. Okay, so this one is easier, a person holding uh, a paper and then we have some text in it so it got everything let me do one more this is from a dictionary and uh, i'm not sure what to expect here but as you can see it got quite a few things removed i don't think we can use it for optical character recognition type of thing like maybe cleaning up scans of books and use it as a pre-process method. We'll, we'll probably have to use something else for that. But when it comes to person, when it comes to anime, not so much maybe. These cartoony characters, quite good. Even these sketches, they did really well. When it comes to text, maybe not. Okay, so here I'm comparing between the remove background 2.0 and then the previous version. So you can see the difference here. It's quite a big difference. I'm choosing this image to compare it because it's a difficult image to remove the background from. And this one, pretty much the, the background, the paper is still there. And in here, the paper is pretty much gone, but some of the text as well is gone, especially the, the ones which were out of focus. But in this one, it's, uh, it's not really usable at all. Okay, so now some of you are probably thinking, how can we do this on multiple images? Now I'm going to use the default nodes the comfy y core nodes but you can also use like a specific custom node for it so let me just add the save node back in the image i'm going to add the image load image node and i'll need to go inside the comfy ui and then look for the input folder go inside it and here will be all the images that uh, you want to process let me delete these ones i'm going to add these these are the test images that i've used and i've just copied and pasted them here now once you're here do a quick refresh you'll need to go into edit refresh or you can press the shortcut key r as well it will refresh it and uh, from the list here we'll just select the first one now i'm going to right click on load image and then go to convert widget to input and then convert image to input. We now have this image input field. I'm going to take it, drag out, click on add node, utils, and then select primitive. This will give me a primitive node, which has this control after generate option. I'm going to change this to increment. And now it's just a question of how many images do you have? So I knew I have 10 images there. So in my Q prop here, I'm going to change it to 10 and then click on the Q prop here. Okay, so it processes all of that. And because this is a save node, everything will be in my save directory. All right, so go into the output folder inside of Comfy UI. And uh, these ones will be the last 10 that I've done basically. And you can get the images like that. And I just found something by complete accident here. I have a WebP animation. So 
I have that one. Let me show it to you here. As you can see, it's, it's not good at all. I thought it was an image. So I copied it, paste it inside the load image. And when I process it, it gave me all the frames. So you can see here, it says 20 out of 121. There's 121 frames and it actually shows all the frames. It, it tried to remove the background from all of that. So let me try with an actual video here. And it did really well. It's uh, again, the same thing, 121 frames and we have the background removed completely. All right, so thank you for watching until the very end. I hope you've learned something from it. And you can do the comparison. You can go back and try to compare it between the original version and then this RMBG 2.0. I think 2.0 is way better than the previous version. Let me know in the comments down below if uh, you have any use cases in uh, integrating this into some workflows. All right, take care, have a nice day, and I will see you in the next one.